Hey guys, welcome back. This was a pretty highly requested video on my favorite podcast and I thought I'd include some of your favorites as well as how I plan to read more this year with audiobooks. So it's gonna be everything about our earbuds, about listening to things, about consuming content through our ears. There's epic construction outside, so I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet. This video is sponsored by Audible. Keep an eye out for that in a bit. <laughs> okay, bye. Actually not bye, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> Let's start with how I built this. Guy Raz dives into the stories behind some of the world's best known companies. How I built this weaves a narrative journey about innovators, entrepreneurs, idealists, and the movements they built. How I built this, each podcast is 30 minutes to an hour talking to entrepreneurs, CEOs, founders of how they built their companies, how they, how and why they started. The underlying theme that's, what's that word, that threads across every single episode is just relentless dedication, relentless, relentless faith, and never taking no for an answer. And not just, you know, headstrong, not taking no for an answer, but like, if I'm faced with a no, how can I find different ways and different solutions to get to a yes? These are all very valuable lessons that we can take from these very successful founders who have built companies like reddit like patagonia like sphinx like bumble like vice and buzzfeed it's very inspiring and also reassuring to know that when you listen to these people talk they're no they're not much different from us and what they did that not many people do is just patience persistence a lot of hard work a lot a lot of hard work and unwavering faith in themselves and in their product and what it is that they're building that whatever it is they'll do they will succeed Next up is Good Life Project. Every week, Jonathan Fields shares inspirational, intimate, and disarmingly unfiltered conversations about living a fully engaged, fiercely connected, and purpose-drenched life. From iconic world shakers like Elizabeth Gilbert, Brene Brown, Sir Ken Robinson, Seth Godin, and Gretchen Rubin to everyday guests, every story matters. A lot of these podcasts they kind of interview more or less the same people but what i love about good life project is there's a more spiritual element to it spiritual as in just it's it goes deeper they dive into the deep end almost every single episode and i really really appreciate jonathan fields yes it is jonathan fields i appreciate how he is able to talk about and bring that out of people that come onto the show and also i love the way he talks. I believe he's a New Yorker, but he has this really soothing California laid back accent that I, I really love. And as much as I appreciate his interviews with people, I also really appreciate his riffs, which are like the five, 15 minute, shorter episodes of just kind of talking about something that's on his mind from anything between, I don't know, I can't think of it right now because I haven't listened to it in a while. Next, we have The Tim Ferriss Show. Each episode, Tim Ferriss deconstructs world-class performers from eclectic areas, investing, sports, business, art, etc. to extract the tactics, tools, and routines you can use. This includes favorite books, morning routines, exercise habits, time management tricks, and much, much more. With his barely edited style, every episode is as if you're sitting next to Tim and his pal peering into some of the world's most brilliant minds. My favorite episodes of all time are with Naval Ravikant, The Evolutionary Angel, and on happiness hacks and the five chimps theory, as well as Debbie Millman on how to design a life. Next up, we have Anatomy of Next Utopia. In the first season, Utopia, it challenged our culture's dystopian beliefs about technology and forwarded a vision of a future worth working towards. If you've ever wondered if Skynet could be in our near future, read Superintelligence and the Singularity, if nuclear energy could do more good than harm, or thought about whether virtual reality would divorce us from the physical world or enrich the broader human experience. These are questions that the podcast answers. From a review on iTunes, this podcast is simply deep thinkers taking you into their world so you can better understand your own. And last, we have Serial Season 1. This is an oldie, but a goodie. 
Siri unfolds one story, a true story, over the course of a whole season. The show follows the plot and characters wherever they lead, through many surprising twists and turns. If you haven't experienced the hypnotic calming voice of Sarah Koenig walking us through a real-life murder mystery, it's never too late to start. because there's construction outside my place from literally early in the morning up until like 4.30, the sun's setting, so it's getting really dark. But let's continue on to audiobooks. As with most things in my life, I go through periods of heavy reading where I will speed read through a bunch of books that I have been meaning to read and it'll be great and I'll be so motivated and inspired. And then I'll go through periods of time for most of 2017 where once I'm busy and I don't have time to read, I kind of drop the ball or I'll just be reading maybe eight, nine, ten books at a time, picking up what I want to read at the moment, but like not really finishing anything for a long time. So Audible's theme this year is that audiobooks are great for helping you become a better you. And I want to be a better me by reading more and finishing more books. If you've been following my channel for a bit now, you know that I'm all about me, us, we all, humans becoming our best selves. So if reading more is something you wanted to do this year, come along and join me. Two books I'm very, very interested in starting. You're a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life, as well as Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which came highly recommended by one of my closest friends who just told me about how amazing Audible is. She talked about how she hasn't been reading for a long time and then this year, one of her goals, New Year's resolution is that she wanted to read more. And and she said with the help of Audible and EarPods, Apple EarPods, which is something that I'm trying to also look into, she says it just it makes the whole listening, reading experience so much more pleasant when you actually don't have to do the reading. Audible is offering you guys a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. So go to audible.com slash Tai and browse a match selection of audio programs. No, but seriously, if this is something you guys are interested in, go to audible.com slash Tai. that's R-O-W-E-N-A-T-S-A-I, or text Tai to 500-500.